Hello, my name is Chloe. I'm a threat analyst here at WordFence, and I want to walk you through what the exploitation of this cross-site request forgery to remote code execution vulnerability we discovered in the code snippets plugin would look like and what it could result in. To demonstrate this, I'll be using Burp Suite to act as our site that is sending the forged request and the site running a vulnerable version of the plugin. I already have this exploit crafted and ready to go right here from Burp disguised as a link in a comment. Now, before we act as an administrator and click the link, I want to show you the code snippets page that contains no code snippets currently and the users tab that contains only one administrative user. Upon successful exploitation of this vulnerability, we will have one new code snippet that is added titled POC, and we will have one user added named attacker that is going to have administrative capabilities. All right, so let's get back to reviewing the comment. Let's pretend I'm an admin reviewing comments and I see this one where a person looks to have enjoyed my site's content and wants me to check out theirs. Sounds innocent enough, right? So let's go ahead and click on the link. And we see that we've reached a weird page that says submit request. This is uh, from Burp Suite and typically a real world exploit wouldn't look like this. But what I'm going to do is submit the request and I'll go back to the site. And I'm going to go to the snippets page where I now see that one new snippet has been added titled POC. We can go to the users tab where we see that one administrative user has been added titled attacker. This is what successful exploitation of this vulnerability would look like and is a result of no nonce protection on form submission. We urge users to update to version 2.14.0 as soon as possible as this vulnerability was fixed in that version.